Hello, welcome back to my channel, it's Vanna. Today I'm here with my bag of makeup empties. I haven't done this in a while. And who doesn't love finishing makeup? It's the most exciting thing. This is nail care and makeup empties. If you like to see beauty empties, that is a separate video, like hair, skin, body, sometimes supplements and protein powders and collagens and things like that. That's a separate video. I should probably film soon as well. But today we're talking about makeup and nails. Let's get into it. Okay, we have some exciting empties here. We're gonna start with the nail products because it's exciting. It's not as exciting, okay? I have two of these Zoya Remove plus one ounce. What? Are you? Oh, it's focusing on busting. Oh. Um, one ounce bottles. These have come in like the jelly cure kits that they send. Occasionally they'll send those as PR. I love Zoya Remove Plus. It is the only nail polish remover that I use. It is the greatest. Uh, but I wanted to get these out of the way because I just have a big, big flip pump that I dump them into. I don't typically travel with acetone. I know that I should as a nail polish person but I don't. The Salon Perfect Professional Nail Lacquer Top Coat. This is a really nice top coat. I have used this uh, several times. It's fine. I don't really care about a quick dry top coat. I know I'm the only person who doesn't care. I, I don't think it is actually that much faster, but I like this top coat for the plushness that it applies to my nails, and it's readily available at Walmart and Salon Perfect. It's like five dollars it's the actual cheapest nail polish brand on the market today other than like the 99 cent store things that you buy but their price is i think 4.98 3.98 very affordable that's not true i think la girl is also pretty cheap and those are available at walmart but it's one of the cheapest brands i have this little cuticle pen from olive and june this is the cuticle serum with cactus flower I love the puff on this for applying to my cuticles. I really, I don't think I can refill this, but I really liked this style of applicator. The product itself was fine. I wouldn't seek it out to repurchase it. I don't think it was better than any other cuticle oil I've ever used, but what I really liked was this, this puff. So I don't think I can, I don't think I can refill this. I don't send this to me as PR with some nail polish. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this unless maybe they, I don't know, came out with a new formula that claimed to be better than everything you've ever used in your life. I don't know. It was fine. I didn't dislike the product itself, but I, I just really like this puff. Okay. And then the two exciting things you've already seen. If you watch my project polish videos, I finished two nail polishes. First we finished, we, me, I finished China Glaze Virtual Violet. This is an old purple nail polish, purple holographic nail polish. Still has a beautiful formula. Um, I was at that line in my last polish update before I finished it, and it's a really strong holographic nail polish. I loved it, but I had a, like a really visible fill line, so I said, I need, I need to finish it because I'm trying to finish nail polish this year. And then the next polish was another China Glaze. I have several China Glaze because China Glaze is one of the oldest brands in my collection because it is actually the first brand of nail polish that I remember purchasing other than a few random Maybelline polishes that I don't, I don't even know if I still have those actually. Anyway, I've had Channel Bites forever. This is Frostbite, a stunning sapphire blue with a subtle blue shimmer. This color just makes me so happy. I have this color of blue, not necessarily with a shimmer, but this color of blue in <laughs> probably triple digit numbers. I love this color, it's my favorite color but it was nice to finish. Okay, and then the rest is all makeup. Okay, okay. I lied, I have one more nail thing. This is a, a nail cleanup brush from Polish and Beauty Expo. I got this two years ago and I have just been refusing to let it go. It's finally, um, it's a double-ended brush. So there's a pointed end and then like an angled end for nail cleanup, I have finally decided that it's time to let this go. I purchased several last year and I also got one in my VIP bag and I'm going to Polish and Beauty Expo again in, oh my gosh, like a month, two months, a month and a half. 
So yeah, that would go. <laughs> but I love that cleanup brush. I'm like beige Becky today. I don't know what that is other than my eyeshadow. I got this shirt on Amazon. It is so soft because they don't have any basic plain colored t-shirts. Like literally didn't even own like a brown t-shirt or a plain black t-shirt or <laughs> oh, what was the other one I got? Well, I brought green because it's the best. Uh, so I got these on Amazon. They were like $11. I think they were on sale when I bought them, but I think the normal price is like $13. But they're so soft and they seem to be pretty well made. So anyway, if I remember, I'll link them in the description box because I just want a full length t-shirt. I don't want a crop top. I don't want a v-neck. I just want a comfortable crew neck soft t-shirt in a full length. I don't know why that's so hard to find, but it, it really is. Anyway, this is not empty, but I do not like this, so I am going to see if someone else wants it. This is the Ellis Brooklyn... Is this supposed to be French? Rive? Rives? Rives? I don't know. This one. I don't want to spray it because I didn't like it, so I... Rives? Rives? What I don't like about this is it smells... It smells like a bathroom cleaner to me. Ugh, I don't like that. The other perfume that I did finish is the Kate Spade New York. I took this on our vacation and then I just finished it. I, I put it in a little travel atomizer and then I just finished it when we got home. This I did like. It's very floral, but very fruity floral. I can't pick up the notes. I'm terrible at that. I did like this. I have no business purchasing any perfume at this point, but I would purchase this again. I am still trying to stick to cruelty-free fragrance. Um, failing a little bit in some areas, but that is my goal is to stick to cruelty-free makeup, but I'm not perfect and I make mistakes. Okay, then we have actual makeup. This is a face primer from Surratt. They were so nice to send me some stuff last year, I think, and this is their perfectionist primer, and I really liked this which sucks because this is like a $90 primer. Am I going to repurchase this? I'm not going to repurchase a $90 primer. I'm sorry. I'm just not. But I really liked this. I really liked how my skin looked when I, I would sometimes just wear this. I don't wear foundation almost ever and I, I don't even really wear concealer that often. But I still think that my skin looked really nice when I wore this all over and then I would just put my blush and bronzer on and this kind of made me get back into wearing primers which is fun because, because I have several that I need to use up but it's just a step that I was really easily skipping. I liked the pump on it. It's dirty um, but I, I mean I used all of this. It was a really nice primer but it was like $90. Another primer that I have purchased multiple times and will always purchase because I love it is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I can't even tell you how many tubes of this I've used in my life. It has to be at least 10. It has, it's gotta be more than that. It's gotta be more than that. I think I use about two a year. It's gotta be more than 10. I have no idea. I love this. I will always repurchase this. I have one more that I just put in my makeup in today because I finished this this morning. And then I think the new packaging is purple, and I hope that means they did not change the formula. <sighs> Maybe I should buy the new one and test it before I, like, finish the old good one. That's ridiculous. But I love this. Available everywhere. It's, like, $7. My eyeshadow does not crease. It lasts all day. It's perfect. And then we have some complexion products. Oh my. So I actually have two concealers. This was almost empty, which is why there are two concealers in here. It's also been a while since I've done a makeup um, empty. There's something like oil on this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I really like this. I have repurchased this. I'm in the shade beige, which I'm pretty sure my other shade is vanilla. I think I'm supposed to be in beige. I really like this. It is... <laughs> There's a bird just like chilling in the bushes outside my window, just like popped her little head off. <laughs> I'm such a weird bird lady now, it's ridiculous. Um, yes, I've repurchased this and I like it. I 
I do think that maybe I'm, I bought the wrong color at some point because I feel like this is more my color than vanilla. I genuinely don't even know what open concealer I have right now. I haven't worn concealer in a while. But I like this and I would and will purchase. I really do like a serum concealer. It is, it works well with my skin because I also use concealer to cover blemishes instead of like highlighting or brightening. I primarily use it to, I do, I do that sometimes. But I, I primarily use it to cover blemishes, so the serum concealer, I feel like it really helps hide any blemishes and it doesn't um, make them look drier like a lot of concealer does. The other concealer is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow 4-in-1 Perfecting Pen, and this is in the color L10N. This had a pen, oops, a pen, like brush applicator. I liked this at first, but I feel like uh, the concealer got a little, I almost feel like the concealer got a little thick, especially towards the end coming out of the brush. I felt like I was really needing to apply way, way, way less than normal so that it didn't look cakey. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I also didn't love the pen, like brush tip applicator. That wasn't my favorite. I would prefer just pump something out. I was excited. I finished. We have an eyeliner. This is the Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Eye Pencil in Ocean's Revolution. It's empty. I love this eyeliner line. They don't make this anymore. I have a few that are still in my collection that I should probably finish up before they dry out, but I love them. Really beautiful, like dark, like night sky blue with a shimmer in it because I still love a shimmery eyeliner. This was so old and it was still very smooth and creamy. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have a bunch of mascaras. Um, this one isn't empty, but I literally hate it. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Topia. I bought this, first of all, I'm not entirely realizing that it was like a blue black mascara. I don't know what I was doing there, but I can't stand this mascara. It did literally nothing. I didn't mind the color um, and I like the wand. So if this had worked and actually done something, that would have been great because I do like the shape of the wand. But this mascara is just, it's very clean girl. I didn't put mascara on. And I know that I'm not wearing the most mascara in the world, but I do want it to look like I'm wearing mascara because I have very straight eyelashes. And what's the point of making it look like you're not wearing mascara? I don't get it. I didn't like the original Clean Topia mascara and I don't like this. The only CoverGirl mascara that I really, really like is the Exhibitionist. And I don't know why I keep trying the new ones. They have another new one. I'm like, ooh, maybe I'll try it. Why? You don't like any of them, Amanda. Especially from the Lash Blast line. I've never liked a single Lash Blast mascara. Um, this is the Pure On Point 4-in-1 mascara with hemp. And this just dried out. This has been in my mascara drawer for a very long time and it's very, very dry. So I I technically probably didn't finish it, but I used it several times and I was like, I can't do this. It's so dry. It's so dry. The e.l.f. Lash and Roll, I really did enjoy. This is, I think, is supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. I haven't used that mascara in a very long time. It has an interesting little wand. The formula is wet, but not goopy. It seemed to lengthen pretty well. It wasn't the most volumizing, but it seemed to lengthen. Um, this color is called Pitch Black. I think it was very black. I, I liked it. I would repurchase this one again. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. They also sent this as PR, and I really did like this mascara. I, I used this one probably a little bit longer than I should have. I think it lengthened pretty well, and it was pretty volumizing. I did like this one, and I would repurchase this. Oh, speaking of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, one my favorite CoverGirl mascara, it has a nice hourglass wand. The formula is a nice consistency for me. It's not very wet, it's not dry, and it is very black, it elongates, it's fairly volumizing. This is another thing from Surratt. This was so interesting. This is called their Lash, or Noir Lash Tint, and I've never seen a wand like this, but it's a, basically like a metal comb. And this was so wild. I did not expect this to really work. I'll show you what this is, just a threaded wand. And I was pretty surprised at how much I like this too. Again, this is a very expensive mascara. I 
think it was like 45 or 50 dollars i'm not going to repurchase a 50 dollars mascara it's too consumable for me to spend that but i did like how this worked and i would be very curious to try this type of wand um in a maybe like a drugstore brand <laughs> but i thought that was really interesting and because there's no bristles on the wand i think it makes the mascara last longer because it's not drying up on the bristles that you're putting back in the tube maybe that's wrong with that makes sense to me the last mascara is the fenty beauty hella thick mascara this might be my new favorite mascara i've repurchased this a few times already and i really really like it it is what i'm wearing today i just opened a fresh tube the other day the wand is kind of cone shaped but the mascara is very volumizing and again, I really like that as someone who has straight lashes, I think I need volume. And then, I mean, I have to curl my lashes every single day anyway, that I wear mascara. I really liked this. I've repurchased it. I think I have three tubes of this in my mascara drawer. Lastly, we have lip products. The first is not completely empty, but I hate it so much. And I just, I can't use it anymore. This is the Beekman 1802 oak moss it's a lip balm i think it was a gift of purchase i hate it so much i'm pretty sure it makes my lips feel more dry i can't use it anymore i just i hate it the next is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk this is a little baby and um there's like a little i mean i guess i could do that and you can see a little bit it's essentially empty i do like this color i feel like i have this color probably in other brands i the formula was fine, but it didn't change my life. So I, I can probably move on from that. This is the Tower 28 Shine on Lip Jelly in Coconut. It looks like there's stuff in here, but I mean, I guess if I did this. No, it's not coming out. I, take, I took the stopper out. This formula is very, it almost feels like a thick lip oil. I think it's very hydrating and um, I don't like the smell of it because it smells like coconut, uh, but I have several of these Tower 28 lip jellies. I really enjoy all of them. This color was probably going to be my favorite just because I like this color, but I, I'm not. Then I finished my Hourglass Unreal lip gloss in Sublime, this little mini. I have the full size in canvas that I'm, I'm not trying to finish, but this is a really lovely, luscious lip gloss formula. It smells like mint dental floss in the best way possible. I just love this. Uh, I love this gloss. I cannot say that I will repurchase because I have no business repurchasing any lip products right now. The Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Treatment in Watermelon. I love the smell of this because I love the smell of watermelon. It smells like a watermelon jelly rancher. It smells so good. I did not like this color though because it was too milky pink. If it, I, I wish it were more sheer. So I didn't like the color and I don't like the coconut one because I don't, I just, I, it's too coconutty. I love the watermelon, but this color was just too milky for me. So I wouldn't repurchase that. We have two lip oils, which literally were empty when I put them in here, except they've been sitting for so long that like every drop of product from the side has fallen down. So it looks like they're still product in here. But when I do this, I mean, there's like one use, I guess, on here. These are the Jaclyn Hill lip oils. This is in the color Rose Drip and also Maple Drip. These are fine. I think I have one or two more to use. You can't repurchase those. So obviously I wouldn't um I don't know that I I don't I don't think I would have repurchased anyway they were fine they were very easy to use up which was exciting but they were just fine we have the Rodile lip oil this is the plumping collagen oil I loved this this was also a little bit milky but it was more sheer clear milky than pink milky and it smells like marshmallows like vanilla marshmallows it smells so good. They sent this to me in PR like years ago and I, I mean, I wish I still got PR from Rodile because like I would, I would definitely use more of these. I would, I could also repurchase it. Um, and I might because this was lovely and it lasted a long time. It lasted a long time. Every time I 
pulled it out of my purse and I was like, well, this is going to be the end of it. No, nope, there was more product in there. So a little bit more expensive lip product, but I did really like it and would repurchase. Lastly, the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Honey Kiss. I loved this. I would repurchase this when I finish like a hundred lip products. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. I don't, it doesn't smell like honey. I don't know, it smells like it smells good, but this was a great desk purse. Just apply to your lips, have to get some moisture and hydration on there. And uh, it helps like your lips look a little bit fuller. If there's any lines, it helped make your lips look a little bit, fill in those lines a little bit. This did the same thing. My lips looked healthy and fuller. That is all of the makeup that I finished over the past several months. I don't actually remember the last time I posted one of these. It's been a while. I would love to know if you finished any makeup lately. Please let me know what kind of makeup you finished. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video.